In this session, I'm gonna talk about losing a Facebook ad account if this ever happens to you. So this will be a good session to watch, even if you're brand new at this, and just be aware of this and some of the things that you can do to prepare if this ever happens to you. And then if it does happen to you, then you'll wanna watch this video a lot closer and follow my steps. I'm gonna talk about why it happens when we lose, you know, why, why we actually lose Facebook accounts, how you approach it if it happens to you. I'm gonna talk about being prepared before it happens, what to do first, contacting Facebook to get it back. I'm gonna talk about starting up a new Facebook ad account and advanced Facebook ad account measures that you can take. And, you know, the bottom line is if you ever get 100% blocked from your personal Facebook ad account and you can't do business manager accounts like I talked in some of the other videos, then you'll need to do some of these advanced Facebook ad account measures. And they're not that hard. It's just that uh, just a few hoops that we have to jump through. So why does it happen? Why do we actually lose Facebook ad accounts? Well, the, the bottom line is I've covered this in some of the other sessions, but Facebook wants the end user, to, user at the end of the day to have a quality experience. There's a lot of people out there trying to scam Facebook. And so they have to have a lot of rules. They're so big that they make these rules and sometimes we catch friendly fire and sometimes it's justified and sometimes it's not. It's just part of this business. Um, you, most of the time what I found out when you do have a Facebook ad account canceled, you usually have broken some kind of rule or you were rocking the line really close and even though it wasn't intentional, but that's not always the case. Um, let's just talk about how you approach it. What, one approach is you can just quit. You just quit. And, and I've seen people do that. They they start a business and then their Facebook ad account gets shut down and they're like, oh, it's the end of the world. And they quit and they never do it and then they, they never succeed. Or you can just say, hey, this is part of doing this business model and let's just continue on. It happens and happens to the best of us and then we just move on and there's ways around it. And there's always ways around it. Just know that. So let's talk about being prepared before it ever happens to you. Now I talked already specifically in this in the Facebook 101 uh, training session. So if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that and also about creating accounts. But um, watch those sessions and understand it. Have multiple Facebook accounts ready to go. Don't just start out with one and then wait for that to get canceled because it's harder to get additional Facebook accounts if you've had one canceled already. So you may have a personal Facebook account and you may have a business manager account and get up to 10 accounts. Now I showed you exactly how to do that in one of the other sessions. So uh, get as many accounts as you can get and have those ready to go. Um, and also have credit cards ready for them. So you know if you have a couple credit cards or you get American Express card, you get a couple of different employee cards created then you have different account numbers ready to go because if you have a new account that you start you have to have a credit card or some payment form that you can pop into there well okay so it happens all of a sudden boom you get a Facebook ad account canceled what do you do first well the first thing is you read all the emails and you mark all the emails that they send to you when you have a Facebook ad account canceled you'll know it pretty quick here sometimes what will happen is you'll be checking your stats and all of a sudden your traffic stops Maybe you get a message immediately in your screen that tells you that your account's been canceled. Then you just usually get an email. And usually these are all automated and the emails almost always say the same exact thing. Facebook's really, you know, they, they do a lot of automation. So read all the emails in detail and read all the on-screen messages. Uh, for example, here's one right here. I have an ad account that was shut down. Your ad account has been flagged for policy violations. Any ads you're running have been turned off. If you believe this is a mistake, please contact us. Now, what I found is these messages don't always match up to what actually the problem is. Um, I had another account one time where it just said, hey, we just need to verify who you are. And that's important because many times you haven't done anything wrong and they just have disabled your account temporarily because they just want to make sure that it's you. They want to make sure that someone hasn't taken over your account and trying to cheat you. So it's not always that you've done something wrong. It's just maybe they just temporary, temporarily disabled it until you verify your account. So figure out what you did wrong and how to correct the issue before you contact them. Take responsibility for your mistake. I remember like I would get, I had this happen once and I got really mad. I could justify it all day long why Facebook was crazy and why they shut my ad account down. But at the end of the day, it was still shut down. So 
I wasn't fall, always following the rules to the T. So take responsibility for your mistakes and get ready to change the error of your ways. <laughs> the bottom line though, Facebook doesn't really care. Uh, they don't really even have like a three strikes you're out rule. They kind of have like a no strikes you're out. So you could just be going around your merry way, think you're doing great, and all of a sudden you get your ad account shut down. It doesn't happen to everyone, but it does happen. The, the problem is Facebook is so big and they just they have so many advertisers and so much traffic. They just don't have enough people to, to administer everything. And so a lot of these things are automatic. And so we're gonna show you how to get past some of these automatic things, get your ad accounts better and get back up and running. So the first thing you need to do is contact Facebook to get your account back. The first thing that you wanna do is reply to the on-screen message. So in this case, your ad account has been flagged for policy violations. Any ads you're running have been turned off. You believe this is a mistake, contact us. Well, I click that and I hit contact us. And I go ahead and I fill these screens out. And each screen is always gonna be a little bit different. And is this your account? Yes, please provide us information so we know how to investigate. So what I would do, what we usually do, is we play a little innocent on here, like, oh, hey, what's going on? We're re we always try to be very careful and, and follow all the rules. So we kind of play a little ignorance at first, because um, the bottom line, here's what happens. There's a person on the other end that's looking at all these emails and all these requests. Sometimes it's an automated machine, and you can usually tell that, but sometimes you actually get a live person. What you're trying to do is get in front of a live person, because when you get uh, in front of a live person, they many times will reactivate your account or they won't reactivate your account. The frustrating thing is usually you just kind of run into the automated process and it almost always immediately gets rejected. So you just keep in there again, keep in there again, keep in there again, and sometimes you get to a real person. So you reply to the on-screen message, and that usually is going to get you an automatic message back. But then you wait a couple days, and you reply again, you wait a couple days, and you reply again, you just keep replying. Now the next place that you also contact at the same time is the Facebook Business Resources. And let me show you what that looks like. So if you go to facebook.com forward slash business forward slash resources, it's going to uh, take you to this page here, how can we help you? And if you scroll all the way down, you're gonna have an email button. Now, sometimes new accounts don't have the email uh, link there, and then you just kinda have to scroll down and find a, a contact as, as much as possible. But sometimes we've seen that happen, there is no email, especially on brand new accounts that haven't been doing anything for a while. Now, when your account gets to be bigger and you're spending a lot more money, you're gonna also notice that they're gonna have an online chat as well where you can actually chat with a representative. So when you contact them, this, you're, you're gonna find that you're going to get in front of more of a live person here. And I would refer back to the forums and other people that have done this because sometimes what you find is that <laughs> You know, you go to billing and questions here, um, ad account settings and ad managements, and you're gonna get different people when you go here. So there you go, my ad account was disabled, and you can kind of go through here. And usually it's like, my ad account's been flagged for policy violation, or my ad account's been flagged for unusual activity. And usually that's because you've logged in and they think there's suspicious activity. You've logged in from a couple different locations, or you can hit none of the above. This one's usually gonna to get to a live person. So make it good, make it count. Give them a brief explanation and include any count details. Don't make it too long. Um, and here's the thing. Uh, sometimes when you do this, they're gonna activate your account and you're good to go. Sometimes they don't. And every week, you're just gonna to wanna to do it again. Contact them again, contact them again, contact them again. Sometimes you get it back quick. Sometimes you can get it back in a couple months. I've even heard of people who get accounts back after a couple of years. And sometimes accounts just like magically turn back on and you haven't done anything. And sometimes they never get turned back on. So it's just kind of random. So you just have to play the game and just contact them and just kind of make it a ritual that 
you're just going to contact them every week. And what you're hoping is that <laughs> that you're going to get some new person at Facebook that doesn't know and they just click the button and they reactivate your account. And that's kind of what happens sometimes to a lot of people. Well, let's talk about, okay, your ad account's been canceled. You're, you're contacting them and talking to them, but you're not going to wait around for their response. So what you're going to do is start up a new Facebook ad account. Now, you're going to start out using your Facebook account, okay? So hopefully you have um, set up a personal ad account and you've set up business manager accounts and hopefully you have 10 of them. So if you've done that, then you just go into business manager and just use one of your 10 accounts and go to the next one and then go to the next one and go to the next one. Now if you didn't create a business manager account, say you were using your personal Facebook account, well you'll go to business.facebook.com and you'll try to create a business manager account. And sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. It just depends on how bad you were when you got your Facebook ad account uh, canceled. So hopefully you did these accounts before you got your Facebook ad account canceled. If you were really bad, like I just said, <laughs> then all of your accounts could completely be flagged and you won't even be able to open up any of them. It's kind of random. You just have to go out and try it. Now, don't let that discourage you. Because if for some reason you do, can't get a personal ad account, you can't get business manager, it looks like you're completely blocked out, what you want to do is keep contacting them on a weekly basis, keep contacting them on a weekly basis, keep contacting them on a weekly basis, and then at the same time start implementing some advanced Facebook ad account measures. You know, the way we look at this is, you know, because Facebook has all these strict rules, it's simply we're just catching friendly fire. We've made mistakes. We don't believe that a permanent lifetime ban from Facebook ad accounts is in any way, shape, or form fair. I think Facebook understands that as well, but they just don't have a good solution for it. So now we take ad account measures into our own hand and we do some advanced stuff. So if you're dead in the water using your own Facebook account, you'll have to go to this plan B. So first part of plan B is you'll use a family member's Facebook account. Now, hopefully that family member lives in the same home or really close by. Because Facebook does this thing about um, detecting where you're at and where you're accessing your Facebook account from, especially when you get into ads. So if you're in the same home and you're on the same internet, well, then it's not that hard to just um, use the their account so you can go in and create Facebook accounts and there's a way in business manager for them just to give you access to their ad account from your account so then you can still log into your Facebook account but you can access their ad account they have to give you the permissions if you need help doing that contact support we can kind of guide you through that um, so if they're not um, at your home then you can remote into their computer. So you can have them install like that program called Team Team Viewer that we talked about and have a even just a cheapy little computer sitting at their house with Team Viewer on it so you can remote in to that computer and just do all your ad stuff. Or you can just remote into any computer that they have if they let you. The other option besides remoting into their home computer is there are things called uh, Windows servers. Now this is getting pretty techy advanced and if you need some help contact support but essentially there are ISPs or computer companies that have these little Windows boxes, they're servers and you can get one of those and you can remote into it and you can have a, a whole desktop window where you can log in and, and see things and you're accessing it's like a different computer remotely the trick is this remote Windows server needs to be in the location of where that person's Facebook account is or the general location and sometimes that can be kinda of tricky if you don't have any servers near you the best way to do this is just to get on Google and start searching for um, remote desktop servers or remote Windows servers in Salt Lake City, Utah in Phoenix, Arizona. And you find one 
and you ask them, hey, where are the IPs located? And they'll say they're in Phoenix or they're in Salt Lake City or they're in Denver. So you can choose the IP that you're going, that you're getting. Now, another really advanced technique is to use what's called proxy servers. This gets super geeky, super advanced, and you can do proxy IP addresses. And that gets pretty technical. So contact support, if you ever feel like you get in that situation, we can help you out with that. Um, be careful of traveling. So, for example, if you're using a family member's Facebook account and they go on vacation and you're sitting remoted into their computer at home and they're out in Barbados and they access Facebook, well, Facebook's usually going to flag the account and say, whoa, 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 something's weird here. Someone is accessing their ad account in Phoenix, but they're also down at Barbados using their Facebook account. So they're going to flag that account and pause it because they think there's some suspicious activity going on. So be careful of traveling, plan that out accordingly if you're using somebody else's Facebook account. Again, understand what IP addresses are. Every person when they're connected to the internet has an IP address. And you can go to whatismyip.com, it'll tell you what yours is. So your IP address where you access the accounts needs to be always close in the vicinity where you're at, where the Facebook ad account is at. And that's why if someone goes to Barbados and you're in Phoenix and they access it, they're gonna know it's different. They're gonna know something's wrong. So IP address, just understand that you need to be in that same location. So if you don't have a family member that you can use their account, use a friend's Facebook account or pay someone to use their account. Preferably, um, find someone that doesn't use their Facebook account very much. Sometimes older people don't use them that much. Or someone's got one, maybe they set one up a long time ago, they just never use it. You can even pay someone, hey man, how high do you like to make 50 bucks a month? I just need to use your Facebook account to, to run ads. So that's, that's another way to do it. Um, follow all the same precautions by using, if using somebody else's Facebook account. Contact us if none of the above work for you. We have some even more ninja strategies that you can use to run Facebook accounts. I'm not gonna get into it here because it involves some pretty high level stuff, but usually everything that we've covered usually works for most people, but there might be a few of you that this doesn't work for. And if you ever run into that situation, just contact support. We'll have a conversation with you and we'll show you how to get back up and running. Well, hopefully I didn't scare you. Uh, this is more of a precautionary measure if this ever happens to you. There's gonna be some people that never ever lose a Facebook ad account, and there's gonna be some of you that lose your accounts, and mainly it's gonna be because you were not following the rules, or maybe you've been bad in the past and, and broken some rules. There's always a way to recover. There's always a way to get Facebook accounts, so don't let it discourage you, and uh, let's keep the up and up going and uh, this business model is an awesome business model and um, it's all there's always a way to get a Facebook account okay we'll see you on the next session